A Trezor is a hardware wallet that allows you to store your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies more securely. But how do you deposit your cryptocurrency onto your Trezor? That's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Hey, I'm Ryan from TryingCrypto.com, making crypto easy, and I just got my Trezor in the post yesterday. I've gone ahead and set it up, but I haven't deposited any coins onto it. So I'm going to do that and show you how to do it. Now setting this up is very easy. You will need to do that first. Simply plug it in and go to trezor.io forward slash start and you can go ahead and set that up. They give you a 24 word passphrase to write down and that's if you ever lose this, you can go ahead and set up a new one with that passphrase. So make sure you store that passphrase securely. So now that we've gone ahead and set it up, how do we deposit funds onto it? Well, let's go to trezor.io and we're gonna go ahead and click on the wallet. And we can see that the wallet is starting up at the moment, connect to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Trezor. I'll go ahead and enter my pin. So once you've entered your pin, you then need to confirm that on your Trezor. So I'll do that by clicking my Trezor and we can see I'm now in. You can deposit Bitcoin, but there's also a lot of the other major coins as well that you can deposit. Today, I'm going to deposit some Litecoin from my Coinbase account. So I'll go ahead and select Litecoin, and that will then load up the Litecoin part of my wallet. So as we can see, I'm now in the Litecoin section, and I want to receive funds or deposit it into my wallet. So let's go ahead and click on Receive, and we can see my address right here. If I go ahead and click show address, this is the address I want to deposit into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that address. Now inside Coinbase, which is where I'm going to deposit from, you can deposit from all the exchanges as well, or Coinbase, or even from a paper wallet. But in Coinbase, I'm going to go ahead and send some Litecoin. I'm going to send my Litecoin to a wallet address. So we'll go ahead and paste in that address. Now on my Trezor, it has the address there as well. So what I need to do is then match those up and confirm them just to make sure that someone hasn't hijacked my computer and ruined my copy paste function and put in their own account. Okay, so I can confirm that. I'm now going to go ahead and deposit some Litecoin. So I've got nearly half a Litecoin in my account at the moment. For the message, I'm gonna put to my Trezor and I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Okay, now this has been refused. It's saying please enter a valid address. And so what we need to do is we need to convert this to an address starting with a three. So we can see here that we have that option. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and paste in our value, we're going to convert that and there we have our option starting with a three. So let's go ahead and copy that and then we'll go ahead and paste that into the recipient address. I'm just going to change this to 0.1 Litecoin. Let's just make sure this works before we send all of our Litecoin over. Go ahead and click continue. We'll then enter our verification number and click confirm. That send is complete. The transaction is now on its way. And if I go back into my wallet and go to transactions, I can see this unconfirmed transaction here of 0.1 Litecoin. I could also go ahead to this Litecoin Explorer and search for my transaction. So I can see that I'm sending this amount from my Coinbase account and I'm gonna receive 0.1 Litecoin and then there's a fee attached to it as well. So that's for the miners, so they will receive that fee. And that fee, as you can see, is approximately 75 cents. So I would rather send this in future in one transaction, but I was just testing this out. So when I do another transaction, it's gonna cost me that fee again. It's been a couple of minutes now, so let's go back to our Trezor, and we're in our Litecoin account here, and we can see our balance of 0.1. We can see the transactions today and this one was 14 minutes ago. I can go ahead and add a comment to that. I can say testing transactions. And so there you have it. That is how you deposit into your Trezor. This little baby is going to be way safer than keeping your money on the exchanges because those exchanges could get hacked. Whereas this is secured by your PIN and your private key is those 24 words that they gave you. So in fact, the 24 words are actually more valuable than this Trezor, but this gives you a secure 
but yet convenient way to send and receive cryptocurrency. So I hope that has explained it to you how to deposit Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies onto your Trezor wallet. You can check me out at tryingcrypto.com. Please like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, why not check out one of my other videos? Check out one of these two videos. I'm creating new tutorials every single day about everything cryptocurrency. So if you want to learn more, check out some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe.